Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Hive Gazette, here with the next video, and this is a live on War Day video. We are taking a look at some attacks as they happen live from this war against Art of War. We're coming off a pretty bad loss, a bad performance by us in our last arranged war, but so far so good. We are a perfect four for four on Town of Nine triples, as you can see as we go through the bases right here. All four of those going for trips. And uh, you guys will see a lot of Town Hall 9 in this video, maybe some 10v11, uh, probably not a whole lot of Town Hall 10 action, it is very early, and most of the attacks I'm planning on recording are going to be early, the time window at least, so probably mostly Town Hall 9, but I will try to record my own live attack as well from this war. So I'm going to hang around and wait for some people to go in live. Here we go, uh, first one is a 10v11, I actually wasn't expecting to have a 10v11 so early on, but nonetheless here it is. We're a little bit late it looks like, but this is a dragon attack trying to two star this top Town Hall 11 base. Looks like we have Sarah who dropped down a golem and the queen, that's all, yeah that looks like that's it. Uh, just to take out some of these defenses, but it looks like only got the archer tower and some trash. Now the trash is still good for the funnel. Um, I'm sure he would have liked to get, and yeah, it's a he, uh, ironically enough, I'm sure he would have liked to get um, some more of the defenses taken out, but the dragons can still do that. The trash has been taken out, which is probably even more important in some respects, because the dragons are tearing through the base, has a few loons, which are good to mix in, I like that. They can get on those defenses while the dragons are on the, the non-defense buildings. Uh, tearing through the space, level five Inferno, I think, right there, if I'm not mistaken, uh, but it goes down. Dragons on the Town Hall, boom, just like that, 50%, easy stuff. Dragons are, I think, going to become much more popular at Town Hall 10 for ta attacking Town Hall 11s, and even for 10v10, we've seen some dragons recently, like in the CWL stream, I saw some dragons. Uh, so I think overall, Town Hall 10 dragons making their way into the spotlight to some extent, so... Good stuff here, that baby dragon will pick it up to 58%. Very solid two star, will give the woo, and a nice one to Sarah. Okay, so I'm gonna back out here, and we'll see if there's anything else going in live, but yeah, probably not. I'll wait, maybe get some more 10v11, but probably some more uh, 9v9 is what I'm expecting. So let's hang out for a moment, and uh, I'll be right back with the next live attack. Okay, next one going in uh, a little bit late, but yeah, just actually he dropped his first troop uh, right there. Maybe Dragon goes down uh, to create a funnel, it looks like. Tornado Top Hat trying to keep the uh, five attack streak going. We're four for four on 9v9 and one for one on 10v11, so still perfect. Let's see if Tornado Top Hat can keep it going here with this Queen Walk Hog Attack. Uh, the Baby Dragon getting great value, to, to creates the funnel, also helps the queen with the CC. He might not even have to use the ability, or I guess he does use the ability, just to be safe there. Um, she'll step up for, looks like, the defensive queen and a few defenses, although he only has, uh, or he doesn't have any rages. So, I don't know, his queen might go down here. He can poison the enemy queen. Um, and th is there going to be any defenses on her is the question. Yeah, the Tesla and Wizard Tower are both on her while she takes out the queen. But with that poison and with those healers, she's just able to stay up long enough to get the job done, take out the queen, and then move around the base. So she'll last a little bit longer at least. Uh, the hog's coming in here. Now that the queen's done her job. And nice hog pathing, nice little hog lane. As I talk about in my videos, you want to have like a two defense wide lane for your hogs to move through. That way the heal can cover the entire width of the hogs as they pan out and make their way through the base. So very good there. Second heal might be a little bit early. It looks like they kind of overlapped a little bit. Uh, I like the king at the bottom left there taking out the uh, defensive king, nice little king trade, because the king can be an issue for your hogs if he's just following them around and picking them off one by one. The healers actually peeled off onto the hogs for a little while, so that was a nice little boost there. Let him use that third heal just a little bit later, and he has one heal remaining for a pretty substantial group of hogs as they move on to these last few defenses. There is a Tesla farm at the top of the base by that clan castle, uh, or the top of the screen at least, and that might be a little bit of an issue, but he has quite a few hogs left up. Um, giant bomb going off actually, but gets that heal down, that's good. I think he has this pretty easily. The hogs will take out that Tesla farm under heal, and then from there he has cleanup, even a balloon making its way into the base, making an appearance there um, with some other cleanup troops. This one's gonna be a three star, 
nice Dafta Tornado top hat, uh, just a matter of a few buildings, and this one will go for it. So there you guys go, five, five for five on the Town Hall 9 three stars, and uh, got that one successful uh, 10 v 11 that you guys saw. So we're looking good. Let's see if we can keep it going. I'll stick. I'll stick around. Uh, we'll give a woo. I'll stick around and. Uh, yeah, we'll see if we can get some more successful attacks. So I'll, uh, no one else is going in? Yeah, so I'll be right back with the next one. And here we go. Uh, Margin coming in here against You Got No Chance. Um, we'll see. Uh, Baby Dragon goes down at the top for a funnel once again, but looks like he was not expecting, I guess there's no way to expect, uh, a little bit of a Tesla farm, some two Teslas right there, and tries to drop a few hogs, but the the damage of the second Tesla and the cannon take them out. So he's down like 20 troop space already. I guess he was just trying to create the funnel for his queen. Uh, looks like he wants her to go to the right, but honestly the space, it's symmetrical. So no matter which way she goes, he can probably do the exact same thing just on a different side of the base. Because uh, it's pretty much the exact same base on both sides. And uh, the queen might get most of this Tesla farm taken out, at least half of it at least. Uh, because... Yeah, she'll step out for that next Tesla right there. And it's nice to have your queen take out the Teslas. She's very good at taking out Tesla farms on a walk because the Teslas have very short ranges. So by the time they target her, she's very close to stepping up and taking them out. They're not like an expo that's going to be locked onto her for a while before she can even reach it. So very efficient. Gets all four Teslas taken out. And looks like the queen's going left here. So he's going to start his uh, kill squad on the left regardless of whether or not he planned to do that. I guess it probably didn't because it looked like he tried to drop his queen off to the right. So a little bit of an improv, but the same plan, just on a different side pretty much. Uh, the golem goes down, jump right there to get into the hero compartment, uh, take out the heroes in just a moment. Goes ahead and rages up the queen. Not sure if that was necessary because uh, that was a very costly uh, rage because it got almost no value besides keeping the queen up. Probably should have just used her ability and used that rage on the kill squad to get those bowlers, the king, and even the queen going as they stepped in. But uh, it looks like he's still doing okay. The queen's sitting back, uh, taking stuff out behind the king, the bowlers. Uh, needs to pop that king's ability right there. There he goes. And here come the hogs making their way in. Has two heals for them. So we'll see how he places those. First heal, uh, good over the giant bomb in those three defenses. Uh, the rest of the troops making their way through. Time is going to be an issue because that uh, opening kind of queen walk thing took a long time. And uh, he, he has most of the base down, 70% down. But there's still defenses left up. Pops the queen's ability. Those hogs at the top took care of those air sweepers. So I think the top of the base is pretty much cleared out. Just this bottom part's remaining. So all very close to each other. It's doable in 25 seconds, but it's going to be close. The bowlers are hung up on a wall off to the left there, as is the queen. The hogs are making their way through, but they're kind of petering out on this last few defenses right here. Uh, wizards meeting up on the right side with the queen as she gets through that wall. This one's close 10 seconds, but I yeah, just those three builder sets, I think, and that'll do it. Three star, nice stuff there. Uh, we will give a woo to Marajan, and yeah, that'll do it. Let's back out here. Um, nice attack, and uh, I'll hang out, maybe catch some more nine, 9v9s, and maybe some uh, some other stuff as well. We'll see. All right, here's the next attack. It is Iceman coming in live. Town Hall 9 Witch attack on this kind of weird base design. We'll see if he can pull this one off. I have bad news. You might have noticed there was another attack going on right above this one. That one I actually missed. Um, I didn't see it going in, and it turned out to be a fail. So the streak is broken, but still very good uh, beginning of this war for us. And uh, regardless of the one fail, I'm thinking uh, this is going to be a very uh, strong war considering how we've started off so far. But let's see if Iceman can bounce back and get us back on course here with a Town Hall 9 triple. Uh, let, everything's moving in, has the jump, the queen went down pretty easily, so he's looking good. Um, not a whole lot going around the outside of the base, but the healers are at least following those witches, so that's good. Um, the troops making their way through the next jump on the CC. Looks like he'll get pretty deep in the base, but I don't like that Lava Hound about to pop at a crucial point in the base when the Queen is needed to help with those defenses, help with the defensive King. Uh, she's going to be distracted on those Lava Pups for a while. 
and the witches are kind of petering out um, at the bottom. They're, they're looking okay. Uh, there's there's like one witch at the top that's refusing to die. Um, she's on that wizard tower just going back and forth with it. I don't know if she'll ever go down. Um, but he's running a little bit low on gas in the middle of the base here. The queen uh, got pretty much through the base, but this guy has like all his defenses on the outside of the base. This is a good anti-witch base if you're looking for one, in addition to that video I made um, on my own Town Hall 9 anti-witch base. This one's also a very good base, I'd say. Uh, definitely uh, did the job on this attack, and yeah, everything just petered out. He got through the base pretty far, but it wasn't far enough with all those defenses still lying beyond the reach of the queen. So uh, this will, that, yeah, that's it. Um, this is going to be the last attack I have to record. I'm going to be uh, heading out for, to do some stuff. So uh, this is it for this live on War Day video. But uh, like I said, I'm going to be attacking in this war. Maybe some 10v10s I'm thinking uh, with the success so far on the 10v11s. I might not be needed there. So uh, I'll try to record mine live for you guys uh, just so you can have that aspect. So you can also see some more heavy hitter action beyond these Town Hall 9s. But we'll go back into this one as we finish up this video here. Uh, nice try to Iceman. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bisectatron out.